Hey guys, uh, this is a quick video about the 501 Maytag PDB. Uh, what's inside of the box? Of course, the standoffs to mount the, the PDB, the cable to connect to your flight controller or receiver, um, some instructions, and finally the PDB. Uh, what makes this PDB special? Um, mostly the fact that it provides 5 volt and 12 volt uh, out. Um, here's a quick location of the 5 volt output and uh, let me find 12 volt 12 volt is there um, so those provide um, 5 volt and 12 volt output for 3 and 4 cell batteries it even goes up to 6 cell um, the last PDB uh, Maytag made I think it was the version 1 or the version 2 uh, had some problems with the 12 volt output, uh, whereas the 12 volt would um, stop working when a 3 cell or a lower voltage battery was connected. And in some cases, of course, when you connect your 4 cell, it may go lower than 12 volt when you do a punch out or something. So that was kind of problematic. Um, in this video, I will uh, test if this is really the case. Also, for this one, I will connect uh, a battery and um, see uh, what the 12 and 5 volt output do uh, so let me quickly grab my stuff and solder on the battery So I've now uh, connected the power lead, just really quick and dirty actually. Um, and what we are interested in is um, in seeing uh, what this 12 volt line does, um, so what it will do when I connect the 4 cell battery, and what it will do when I connect um, the uh, 3 cell battery. So uh, on the 4 cell we should see that the 12 volt line actually provides 12 volt. Um, but on the 3 cell, um, on the previous PDBs we saw that it doesn't provide any voltage at all and on this uh, PDB we hopefully see that it will provide just only the battery voltage um, yeah so let's go ahead first I will connect the 4 cell battery um, which is this one look out for the magic smoke of course Lights turned on. Lights turned on. I have my multimeter here. I hope you can see it. Move this out of the way. Yes. So ground and 12 volt provides 11.8, which is alright. I mean, it's no problem. You can power your cameras and your VTX from that, and it should be no problem. And the 5 5 volt line, which is here, let's see what that does. Yeah, it provides 5 volts, so that's alright. Now, let's see what happens when we connect the 3 cell battery. So this battery is not completely charged, I have actually flown with this one, so um, it should be around 3.8 uh, volts per cell. And now we can actually measure this. So it's around 11.4 uh, uh, volt. And now let's see what the 12 volt line does. Uh, let's switch it, this around. Can you still see it? Yes you can. So this is great, it provides 10 volts, um, which is okay, on the previous version it would have provided nothing at all, which is bad of course, but on this version it does work, and this is still 5 volts, so it's a really nice increase, um, so based only on the, on the results of this small test, I would recommend this board. Now, um, I do have to find a... Uh, flight controller and um, 
set it up in order to make the other functions of this uh, PDB work. Um, I will be doing this in another video. Okay, uh, thank you. If you have any questions, feel free to reply.